Hi guys, Marvin here from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. And today we're back with another mechanical keyboard review as we take a look at the Maybenben Ben DMK01 60% mechanical keyboard from Banggood.com. And we're also going to compare it with the Royal Clutch RK61 as I have a good hunch that they are basically the same. With that being said, oh wait, before I forgot, I'm going to give these keyboards away to you guys so make sure to watch the entire video so you won't miss out. Now, let's get into it. Alright, so we have here the packaging for the Maybenben Ben DMK01 60% mechanical keyboard. Although there's no prominent branding and model name here around the box. At the back, we have some details about the product. However, it is written in Chinese, so let's just see what comes in the package. Okay, so inside the box is the typical packaging with the keyboard inside protected with a foam sleeve. Aside from that, we have here a QC pass paperwork and of course, a user manual written in both English and Chinese. Underneath the cover, we have a couple more items here. We have a white micro USB cable, unfortunately, not yet USB Type-C, and a standard plastic keycap puller right here. Alright, so let's take a look at the Maybenben Ben DMK01 60% mechanical keyboard itself. At first look and touch, it certainly looks like the Royal Clutch RK61 with a decent weight to it and the overall design and build quality also feels really familiar. On the front side, like the Royal Clutch RK61, we also have here, I guess, the logo of Maybenben Ben at the exact same location. Flipping it on its side, it features a slanted high-profile case with some chamfered edges at the top and at the bottom. The keycap's profile is OEM, which has a curve for that ergonomic form factor. And of course, since the case is high-profile, the switches are not visible. Looking at the back side, again similar to the RK61 with the micro USB port located at the center. And then at the bottom, the same thing, four rubber feet, the Bluetooth switch at the center, technical details and certifications above that, and a QC pass sticker right here. So yeah, even the fonts and layout are the same with the function key on the lower right corner and the dual layer arrow key section right here. All the legends of the secondary layers are the same as well. The layout is ANSI standard so it's quite easy to look for custom keycaps with this. And the layer implementation on this like the Royal Clutch RK61 is actually very good and easy to use. Later, I will show you how it works. As for the fonts, they are the typical OEM font with large characters for the alphas and smaller ones for the modifiers and even smaller for the sub-legends. Alright, so here's what I'm talking about guys. We have the Maybenben Ben DMK01 on top and the Royal Clutch RK61 here at the bottom. So as you can tell, they look exactly the same. The colors, the fonts, the sub-legends, the layout is all the same. And if you flip them up, you can see that they also have the same placement for their logo. The thickness is also identical as you can see here and both also features the same high profile case. And at the bottom, there's no denying that they are like a twin brother. And this is not necessarily a bad thing because the Royal Clutch RK61 is actually pretty decent and I always recommend this to people who wants a 60% keyboard but on a very tight budget. Okay, so let's check out the switches on these keyboards and see if they are using the same switches. Okay, so apparently they are both using red switches which is awesome for our comparison here. So for the Royal Clutch RK61, they are actually using their own brand of switch, RK Reds. And for my Ben Ben, they are using the Content Red Switch, which is another Cherry MX Red clone and is mostly found on extremely budget mechanical keyboards like this, as well as the cheap Gigaware K28 mechanical keyboard that I previously reviewed. In terms of feel, again, it is almost identical to the Royal Clutch RK61's RK Red Switch, with just a bit of a scratchy feel to it, but not so obvious unless you slowly press the key and pay a close attention to it. It is definitely smoother than let's say Otemu Blue Switch, and I feel like both the RK switches and Content switches are just rebranded Otemu, to be honest. And even the stabilizers on the Maybenben Ben DMK01 sounds and feels exactly the same with the stabilizers of the Royal Clutch RK61 with a very rattly and high-pitched sounding spacebar. The modifiers on the other hand are not as bad as the spacebar but still have some rattle. Alright guys, focusing back to the Maybenben Ben DMK01, what we have here is the white LED backlit version and I think this is available in two variants, a black case with yellow LED and this white case and white LED. So we have different lighting effects as you can see here. And you can toggle between them by pressing Fn plus backslash. And you can also follow the sub-legends on the upper right part of the keyboard to customize the lighting effects. Now to switch between wired and wireless mode, all you have to do is press Fn plus tab and then Fn plus P for a few seconds to enter pairing mode. So once the letter P starts flashing, you can turn on Bluetooth on your device like your PC, smartphone, tablet, or what have you, pair it, and you're all set. You can connect this keyboard up to three devices and you can switch between them by pressing Fn plus Q, W, or E. Now, here are all the different lighting effects in dim lighting conditions.
And like I said, you can follow the legends to configure the lighting effects like brightness adjustment and adjusting the speed of the animation. As for the illumination, it is adequate for dim situations like this as you can see, and although it is only color white and uses SMD LEDs, it is pretty substantial and minimalistic in my opinion. Now in terms of the layer implementation, you can toggle different layers by pressing Fn plus the corresponding layer like the nav cluster, function rows up top, and the arrow keys right beside it. And in my opinion, the placement is really good using your pinky finger. You can also toggle between arrow keys and the normal function of these keys by pressing Fn plus right shift. You can also activate each layer by pressing F and plus left control. So yeah, the layer implementation in this is exactly the same as with the Royal Clutch RK61, which is one of the best layer implementation on a 60% keyboard in my opinion. As for the keycaps, this keyboard uses DoubleShot ABS keycaps, which means it has a separate material for the legends and will not fade away over time. But since it is made of ABS plastic, it can get shiny over time, but with the color white, it will not be as obvious as the black version. The thickness of this keycap is around 1mm. Alright guys, before we move on to the actual performance of the Maybenben ben DMK01, here's a quick typing test for you guys. Now in terms of the performance when it comes to its Bluetooth connectivity, I'd say it is okay and usable, but I cannot recommend it for competitive gaming as it has a bit of delay especially on the first key press. Wired mode is still the way to go for gaming. As for the typing experience, like I said, on Bluetooth mode it has a bit of delay on the first key press. But it goes away once you start typing your sentences and becomes more responsive. It's just that first key press or a couple of letters that are kinda annoying to be honest. It's usable but if you want a better typing experience, like I said, wired mode is the way to go. Of course your mileage may vary as it's usually the case with extremely budget keyboards like this. As for the content red switch, like I said earlier, it is decent and not that scratchy and of course quite lightweight to type with. And you all know me guys, I'm not a fan of red switch as it is very sensitive. So, as I always say at the end of the day, it will depend on your personal preference and for a budget keyboard like this, it is pretty decent. In terms of the NKRO feature which allows you to press multiple keys at the same time without conflicts, as per my testing, it is working fine surprisingly even on Bluetooth mode which is pretty awesome as you can see, I can press up to 10 keys and they are all registering on any given zones or layers on the keyboard. The same with wired mode as expected. As for the battery, the Maybenben ben DMK01 has a built-in 800mAh of battery that can last up to 10 hours of continuous usage. It's not that much to be honest but it should be enough to last you a day with power saving mode kicking in from time to time. The charging indicator is located on the spacebar as you can see here. Unfortunately, it looks like the Maybenben ben DMK01 unlike the RK61 doesn't have software as I cannot find one online. So to conclude, the Maybenben ben DMK01 is proven to be almost exactly the same as the Royal Clutch RK61 and I would not be surprised if they have the same manufacturer. With that being said, aside from the fact that the Maybenben ben DMK01 doesn't have a software, it is also a good option if you can find one that is cheaper than the Royal Clutch RK61. Otherwise, just get the RK61 as it has an accompanying software and is also available with RGB variant. Alright guys, like I said, I'm going to give these keyboards away to you guys, one to our top fan on our Facebook page and another one to our subscribers here on YouTube. So check the link below to join. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link below. Huge thanks as always to Banggood.com for sending this in and for their continued support so that I can provide you guys with more mechanical keyboard reviews. You can get both the Maybenben ben DMK01 and the Royal Clutch IK61 from their official website link below as well. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this and I also invite you to join our Keyboard Addicts PH group for more mechanical keyboard discussions, although it is primarily in the Filipino language. Alright guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a great day.